Today I wanted to show you my plunger cutters. These are a really easy way to put a cute little topper on the top of your cupcakes. Doesn't require anything other than these little plunger cutters. So I'm going to do a butterfly today and basically it's got a little plunger on the top and then if you can see there's a little pattern already in, on top of the cutter so when you press it into the icing it leaves that pattern already on top. So very very easy. Just a little bit of fondant I'm going to roll out and I've got my little rolling pin. These little guys are very handy. They're little spacers um, for thickness so basically it'll roll out the dough to that thickness and a little bit of icing sugar so it doesn't stick. The other thing I'm going to use because I'm doing little butterflies and I want them to be in a sort of a little V or flying shape, um, I've just got an egg crate lid or egg carton lid and I've just folded up some baking parchment into some little V's so I'll lay these in there to dry out so that when you take them out they'll have that lovely little flying shape to pop on the top of your cupcake. So very very simple to do. So I'm going to do some medium sized ones but they do come in the three different sizes depending on the size of your cupcakes or cake and what sort of pattern or look you're going for. If you do a bunch of different sizes it looks really pretty as well but I'm just going to do that middle size that works really well for sort of your standard cupcake just to have one on the top of it. So I've got my icing and my rolling pin and I'm going to roll this out. You can vary the thickness to whatever you'd like. I quite like this sort of um, thickness and it seems to hold quite well. This is just a Wilton rolling pin that I have and it comes with another size little spacer which is thinner as well so you can choose what you want. So I'm just going to roll out my icing like this. all the same thickness. There we go. And so once we've done that, it is simply taking your plunger cutter, popping it on the surface, press around the edge first to cut it, and then you just press a little bit on the top and that will make your pattern onto your icing. And then you just take your butterfly out that so I've got my little butterfly and then I'm going to bring my egg crate over and then you just lay it in that little V and you just sort of hold it in that shape and so it's going to then dry with a little flying sort of shape to it and that's all that's very simple uh, when these finish drying I will show you how they look when they come out and you can put a little bit of dust, a sort of a shimmer powder over the top of them which looks really pretty. So I'll show you that as soon as these are dried and ready to go. Okay so as you can see my little butterflies have dried. They're still sort of drying but they've dried enough for me to be able to sort of paint on them or dust over a little bit of a shimmer. Normally I would make these the day before I needed to put them onto the cupcakes or first thing in the morning make the cupcakes and then put them on at the end of the day. But they just hold their little shape like that so you've got a really pretty sort of flying butterfly that you can pop onto your cupcake and it looks absolutely beautiful. So that was literally rolling out the icing, using the plunger cutter and it even creates that little pattern and then letting them dry just in that little V-shaped paper so that they get that little flying bit. So the last little bit, you can leave them like that, looks absolutely beautiful. If you want to go a little bit further, then you just get these little tubes of shimmer dust and they are available at most cake decorating stores and then all you use is a little bit of a, uh, a little bit on the end of a paintbrush and then you just literally dust, I sort of dust down the middle and then just bring it up a little bit so it shimmers over the rest of the butterfly. So that's a silver color so it gives it sort of a little silvery shimmer and then there's also a white, let me get that off my brush, 
So this is a white. The white and the silver are very similar. Grab this little guy. So again, I usually get quite a bit of my brush and dust the center so the, the center of my butterfly has the most shimmer. And then I just sort of brush out from there a little bit, giving the rest of the leaves. And this is just dry, so this is not wetting anything. It just adds a tiny little shimmer to it. This is a bronze color. So I'll show you what the bronze looks like. So the bronze obviously changes the color slightly of the purple and gives it a different kind of color of the top. Now you can use, these come in a whole bunch of different colors, so you can do a whole bunch of different colors. Um, to mix and match with what you want and some of them also come in not so shimmery they're just sort of a basic color dust and you can paint on different colors or you can dust on different colors so those are your three butterflies and that is just the simplest way to finish it silver is my favorite to do but again depending on the background color I tend to do quite pastelies like this although that would look really pretty on something like an orange or a yellow or a white butterfly that sort of more bronzy color um, but definitely sort of just adding a little bit of shimmer on both of those um, just zoom in so you can see um, really really pretty just add that little little bit of shimmer and looks absolutely stunning on your cupcake so a simple topper for your cupcakes and I hope you give that a go thanks for watching my video if you liked it give me a thumbs up if you've got any questions post those below and please subscribe to see what else I'm doing and check out some of my other videos that I've got. Thanks again, have fun, and enjoy your cupcakes.